Hey guys, Sandy here, and today I've pulled out some Paper House products, um, some from the Explore Your World collection, some uh, stickers. I also have the sticker sheet from Discover USA. Um, I do have a roll of washi tape, not sure exactly uh, which um, collection or name this is, but it is Paper House. And I also have my photos from the Castle Air Museum. So I'm going to pick out a photo and a uh, gridded scrapbooked. So let's see what I can do. Now I really love this paper and I've used it on another scrapbook layout, but I believe I used the top of it and cut off the sunglasses on the bottom. So this time I decided to take off the airplane. I know that that almost sounds um, kind of sacrilegious, <laughs> especially with my love of airplanes and scrapbooking airplane things but um, I'm okay with it guys, I'm okay with it. So I tore that side off, so I have this black and white matte paper, and then I just took the other side, which is this fun orange and yellow uh, kind of motif paper. It's got like travel theme stuff, luggage and uh, drinks and compasses and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just tucking that underneath so that I have two layers of torn edges here. And I am a top-down scrapbooker, so instead of putting that orange sheet down first, I went ahead and put the matte print. Now I've picked out this photo, uh, this airplane. Um, no real reason that I chose this airplane other than I liked it. I went to my stash and pulled out a little bit of cardstock. Um, I was thinking about adding in the pink because there is pink uh, down here on kind of like the stamp paper, but I didn't have the exact a shade that I was looking for so I decided to um, not do the pink and just do this yellow and green now it did kind of remind me of like Green Bay Packers colors but I think once the layout is uh, complete that you don't really have to worry about thinking about football um, unless you're a diehard uh, Packers fan and then maybe then you um, think about the football when you see the layout, but um, I don't, so uh, yeah, okay, now I'm talking about football on an airplane layout, goodness. Okay, so these um, cardstock pieces here, I'm just gonna offset them. Um, this is kind of like a messy mat stack, and you can make messy mat stacks with all kinds of paper, all kinds of scraps, um, doesn't have to be the same size, and you just kind of layer them up on top of each other, and then plop your photo down on top. Now this is a small, small messy mat stack with only two mats. Now these uh, 3D stickers, I pulled off the bottom layer of foam tape, and that's because it was popped up a little bit more than I want it to be uh, on my layout. So then I decided, actually, I need to move this photo over a little bit, and that way the sign will be to the left of the airplane and the airplane is still kind of like looking off the page into the distance all majestically and stuff. <laughs> so now I've pulled out that sticker sheet and I'm trying to figure out where I want to incorporate this banner piece because it has some lines on it so it's perfect for journaling and I decide that I'm going to place it over here over top of the nose of the airplane. And then I'm just bringing in some more interest and more fun around my photo mat. And I do that with this uh, like Polaroid frame sticker and it just sits there nicely. Like I'm, I'm thinking it looks good. So I bring in the puffy stickers and I'm not sure how I feel about that globe yet. So it's, it's there, but I haven't like pushed it down into the paper yet to really like make it be for sure it's going there. So here is um, this little border sticker and I make sure to face the arrows the same way as the airplane. And then I decide I need it to create something up here at the top because I have all this excitement going on uh, down here on the lower right hand side of the page and I need some excitement in the upper uh, corner as well. So I really love this Travel Explore Live sticker and I layer that up with my border sticker and then I bring in the puffy map sticker and I think that that creates a fun little cluster up there. And so far haven't moved 
that globe sticker. It's still over there on the banner. Now, I definitely used travel themed uh, products for a travel themed layout, um, but that uh, one collection, this one that I have in my hand is like Explore the USA. It's got things like road tripping and um, various things that you would see if you road tripped across the USA. So always look at your products and think about colors and see like these colors were, go great with the Explore Your World collection. There's definitely some pieces that would apply. Like you don't, like I wouldn't use the tractor obviously on an airplane layout, but these little hearts and the little geotags and the letters, perfect, absolutely perfect for any other kind of layout. It doesn't have to be just like traveling across uh, the United States. So definitely think about that. Look at your products and look and don't confine yourself to thinking, oh, I've got to use this on a travel across the United States because that's what this collection is themed for. Or I could never buy this collection because I've never traveled across the United States. No, no, people. Get it and love it and use it. So many of the layouts that will be for this um, like group of layouts in the Castle Air Museum uh, trip that we took have a lot of plane and flying puns. And this one is going to be no different. Um, I think I'm doing it because I don't remember the names of all the aircraft and I can't bother my husband every single time I need to know the name of an airplane. Um, sometimes uh, he does tell me and some of them I do know but you know like this this uh, bad boy right here no idea what it is all I know is it's cool. So I am going to use these blue tile stickers as well and I'm putting up the word just so the title is just plain fun now the plain fun does kind of get lost uh, against the three layers of background that it covers so I am going to outline that in a pen just to give it a little bit more of a pop and then I decide I need a little bit more blue um, on the layout just because I have that just in that color blue so I add a little blue heart over here on my uh, like journaling banner. And then I'm taking a Muji pen and I am outlining it and it just gives it a little bit of extra oomph. So there's not a huge difference, um, but it's subtle enough that the letters don't get lost, especially that N that is right on top of the torn white edge. It kind of sinks back into the layout a little bit and you can't see it. Um, but with this little bit of outline, it totally, totally makes it more visible. Um, on this orange too, the, it's pretty busy, even though it's a, a different color. There you go, you can pop it and see it. So now I have to add a little bit more adhesive onto my layout just to, um, make sure that it sticks down the papers and then I'm just going to write a little bit about uh, the air museum and how much of an awesome experience it was checking out all of those aircrafts and then I think that is going to do it for this layout guys thanks so much for watching be sure to click the links down below and I will see you again real soon